Hey, I've got a public service announcement for you today. Are you getting inundated by coaches and trainers with marketing, marketing, marketing? They are telling you what they could do for you. I get that a lot. As a matter of fact, I might even be one of those voices to you. But what I want to help you do today is to recognize that God may be in some of it. See, we're in, living in a time where you could be benefited or transformed by a resource almost anywhere in the world. So what you want to learn to do is to weed your way through it and discern what God may be saying to you. So that's what I want to help you to do today. Let me give you a few ideas or steps to consider. First of all, clarify, what kind of person are you trying to be? Where do you want to grow? How do you want to be transformed? Take time to consider that because we all need to be on a path of growth in life. Secondly, when you hear the marketing or when you hear the message, let me give you some ideas of what to consider. First of all, who is it who's sharing that? What's their character like? What's their lifestyle like? Are they effective in what they are sharing? Can they actually do what they're sharing or do they just talk about it? Do they have something that they can impart to you, that almost a heavenly gift that they can impart, they can infuse into you, that it can be permeate your soul for transformation? That's the kind of person you want to coach you. So you listen and you discern and you recognize, do you connect or resonate with them? Your connection to a coach is far more important than the glittery message that they might share. You want to recognize, is this authentic and does it have weight to it? I want to encourage you, don't receive from a stranger or something that glitters. Instead, from somebody you trust, can honor, you respect and want to become like them. They might be your coach. If all those things come together, there is an important other part. You need to be willing to invest your time, your energy, and yes, even your money in it. See, nothing is built on the in the world that doesn't require those things, whether it's a family or a school or a business or a house, a neighborhood, a city. They all require the intelligent and intentional investment of time, energy, and money. So clarify what you want to build in your life. Seek out those resources that can impart and break you through and be willing to invest those things. If so, we live in a time that we can grow faster and grow larger than maybe any time in all history. So don't throw it all out. Consider it wisely. If I can be of any help, that'd be awesome. Have a great day. Bye-bye.